plant. We'll take and cut it in half. Cut off the ends. All right, once it's halved, see the, there. We're doing a nice big cut. So we wanna actually, a little wide, so we're gonna quarter it. And then we wanna just go how big those squares are. So you got nice cubes. And now you can cut those up. Let me pause through the cause. All right, now that we got everything chopped up, this one comes right off too easy. Not bad. Uh, this ain't working too well with eggplant. And we got to make do that, right? This is going to be boring. Nobody wants to watch this. I think we're going to do it like this. Corner to corner. To corner. Too big. To corner. And this is how we're going to hit them all. Alright. Cause for the cause. Alright. Started. Got a nice, look at that. Nice chunks of eggplant. This is going to be a beautiful thing. Uh, not the best chopper in the world, but it's doing its job, and it's probably a hell of a lot faster than me doing it by hand. All right, we'll be back. All right. This meal that I'm making, I haven't done in a long time. Chicken and a white wine sauce. The first time I made it, I usually made it with skinless thighs. Thigh meat, I found it was excellent. Plus, it's cheap. When they run it out, you try to get rid of it. Dirt cheap. That's, I think the chicken breast that I got, dollar ninety nine. Back in the day, what was I get it? Fifty nine cents a pound, maybe even cheaper. Forty nine cents a pound. All right, so I'm gonna take the eggplant, spread it out. It's kind of funny. I bought this thing. Psh, more than five years ago, just for this one task, this one meal, and I haven't used it once until tonight or today. All right, there we got our eggplant all done. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, what you want to do is you got to make sure you have a cooking spray. The reason why you want a cooking spray is you want to put a light coat of oil on these. It's going to help in the roasting process. You know. This is obviously, this is something that's much easier to do if you own a pizzeria. So, if all of a sudden this starts turning up on menus, you know why. But it is unbelievable. Alright. Now, remember those onions we chopped up? This is a nice thing. I didn't throw them into the freezer yet. We just want to give a light coating over the top of the onions. A little something, something extra. I don't want to do too many onions, but I do have two large eggplant here and two large heads of portobello mushrooms. So these onions on top, they're probably going to lightly caramelize. But that's what we want. Caramelization gives what? Flavor. All right. Let's move some of this out of the way. Now, we got the cooking spray. We're using coconut. We don't have enough. We're going to run out. But you don't want to go excessive. Just a little light coating. Let's sit over here. And the coconut spray is excellent because it has a nice white sheen where you can see exactly how much you put on. Alright, we're just going to kill the can. 
That looks good. Into the oven it goes. Probably anywhere from two to three hours. And that's how you roast.